What's up, dudes? Welcome back to another. <clears throat> I feel better. Like I was saying, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at another kind of Marvel Legends. I think it's Marvel Legends. I'm not sure. But it's cool. And it pretty much is basically Marvel Legends, but just in different packaging. But we're, today, we're going to be looking at the, I was about to say Mysterio, Electro figure that I found at Vintage Stock here in Tulsa. And honestly, this guy looks awesome. I've been waiting to, like, I've been trying to look for this guy, along with the Sandman, which I think the Sandman is new. That also comes in this kind of packaging, but honestly, this is... Very different than the uh, than the uh, regular Marvel Legends packaging we usually get. I'm pretty sure these are called something different. I think this is like the Retro, the Spider-Man Retro series. But uh, they're pretty much basically Marvel Legends figures just in this packaging. And um, yeah, there's really not much else to say. This character is pretty much a really cool one. I really do like it. I really love this kind of outfit for him i don't know why it just it just always looked i don't know pretty good to me um but as you can see there's some really cool artwork here with spider-man and the big spider-man logo right there you also have a picture if it will focus of him of electro himself some cool um buildings in the background along with a spider web four plus right there and you get a good look at the figure that's how much he was and in the back pretty much just some information about him that uh his name was max dylan wills full control over electricity and wants to hurt spider-man and stuff like that so we pretty much got some cool stuff here pretty much tells you the accessories and some other figures that we might not get but honestly i would like a spider-man but that is pretty much it for the packaging there we go good boy focus so let us tear apart this figure it's probably gonna be easy okay not as easy as i thought oh okay i see it's like in the cardboard all right let me grab something all right let's cut this dude open now the box i don't usually like to open the box or destroy the box but in this case with figures like this, you pretty much have to if you really want the figure to look at and display. So, we're going to have to say goodbye to this box. Unless there's a super secret way that I don't know. There we go. But other than that, the box has to go. And that was pretty easy. Other than just having to cut it a little bit getting the figure out just popping them out like that along with his accessories don't need that don't need that and here we go so for the figure itself it definitely does look really cool i really do like this costume a lot i've grown up with it and it just it looks really cool i really do like it um there are a couple weird just odd problems here and there the face is a little weird looking i mean his eyes are kind of goofy looking and so is the face expression just a little bit but it's mainly the eyes that look really goofy and that kind of sucks along with another issue which is this arm right here i don't know if it's just mine which it probably is is that if you see with this one the elbow bends to about about like that this one is refusing to bend at all and i really don't want to push it and break it so it's kind of hard to get them in these kind of poses but i mean this one's good enough to be honest but i don't know he's he seems to have some stiff joints i don't know if it's just because he's been on the shelf for so long but uh other than that all the rest of his joints seem pretty good as for detailing there's really 
not too much there. I mean, there is some really nice uh, kind of wrinkles and clothing and the muscle detail looks really nice. I also really like just the colors. It's super simple. It's just green and yellow with a little black. And it just looks really nice. I especially love the mask. It's just such a ridiculous thing. But it does look pretty nice. Accessories that he does come with are his two hands that have pretty much electricity shooting right out of them. Which do look really nice. Do really like those. And those would look really cool um, once we get them on them. But before we get into any of that, I want to take a look at the posability. So for starters, we're going to do with this head, which is pretty much basic. And also the uh, helmet piece is kind of a rubber, kind of more of a plasticky rubber, but not as squishy. But with posability, his head can look up that far, down that far, and from side to side. Not so much like wiggling side to side. The arm cannot really go back that far. Oh, there we go. Snapped it. Snapped it right in the back. That's awesome. So, his arm can pretty much go that far, but you can't really do it normally because it does get in the way like that, but you kind of have to back it up, pull it in, and there you go. About like that. Um, He's got some rotation right here. He has a double bend on each arm, except mine is just a little tight, so he can get a pretty nice bend right there. Along with the hands, I can go up, down, and swivel all around. He also has some waist, waist movement here and there. And he also has a nice ab crunch, which is definitely really nice. He also has some spread at the legs. And the blade can go pretty much back that far. Forward that far, which is pretty far. Uh, some thigh movement. He also has a double bend at the knee. And he has movement at the foot and a pivot at the foot. And also kind of a calf movement here as well. So for posability, he's got a lot. You can get him into some pretty decent battle stands, pretty much like this. Some kind of some kind of more evil stance like this, which is pretty nice. And if you had a stand, you can get him into some flying poses. And poses like this would be really nice with some accessories, which he does have. And they're super easy to put on. All you do is just pop the hand off and just pop it on like so. Same with the other side as well. Super easy and does not feel like it's going to break at all. And you can get them in some, some really nice poses like this. For a figure height, he's definitely not the tallest. I mean, they're pretty much all 7 inches. So it's pretty much standard height for these guys. Here he is next to the Doom Slayer, which does seem to be a little bit more taller than him. And here he is next to Venom, which is pretty much the only other Spider-Man villain that I have so far. For a really, really nice character that I pretty much like. I'm not sure if a lot of other people, I don't know, like him as much. But honestly, I really do like this character. And I really like the figure. If it wasn't for really the arm that really doesn't work and the uh, derpy looking face... I think this figure would have been awesome, but with those little things, I mean, they're just really not the best when it comes to a good figure. So, it's not bad, but honestly, it's not too great. But other than those little things, I think the figure is pretty good. I don't have a lot of complaints after that. And, uh, yeah, he's definitely not my favorite in the collection, but... He's really cool, and it'd be awesome to take some photos with him. So, with all that being said, this figure looks awesome, and hopefully soon I'll get some more, especially the Sandman. And I will see you guys in the next one uh, when it comes out. So, I'll see you guys next time.